All right, guys, now that we have all the basic motherboard connections set up, we're going to be ready to try to put this computer on post and see if it boots up. Yep, and for those of you who don't know, post is a power on self test. And that's essentially what your computer does um, when you boot it up and you see a bunch of uh, a black screen and then letters scrolling down. Or like um, That's all the computer's information. And um, if you know how to read it, it just tells you about its status when it's booting up. So um, for this one, we're using a, an old crappy monitor. This one um, we use for testing because it's just old and it's easy to move around, very small. And so we have it hooked up to um, actually need to plug it in first. <laughs> all right, so while Max is doing that, all you need is your basic motherboard connections like we showed you in the last video and a simple keyboard and monitor. Stuff such as a hard drive or a CD drive are unnecessary and sometimes can even um, screw up some of your boot testing. Yeah, you just want to limit all the variables that you can and try it with the bare bones and um, then see if it works with that. So. In order to connect our monitor to this card, which only has DVI ports, as you can see there, um, we have this DVI to VGA adapter. And these usually come with graphics cards. You can buy them pretty cheap if you don't have one. But this is necessary to plug it in. It doesn't matter which port you use. I'm just going to stick it into the bottom one right here. All right. And um, <coughs> as for the keyboards, if you're doing some heavy overclocking, a PS2 connection as opposed to a USB connection would be um, preferable because when you're doing overclocking on your South Bridge and things like that, the CPU, I mean, um, the USB might have an error. Yeah, the South Bridge might get a little screwed up. Yeah, all right, so we're just going to stick this one in here. And that's good. And now we should be ready, so. Make sure the power supply is on, of course. Yep, just flip the switch in back if you haven't already. Turn and the monitor on, maybe? It's yeah, on. monitor's right. on. And then there's a light on the motherboard. A lot of motherboards have lights. There's just a little blue one right there that tells you if it's receiving power. <clears throat> and we're ready to go. So we're just going to hit the on button right here. Moment of truth. That beep is usually a good sign, and there we go. Yeah. Now, um, as you can see here, scroll into the text. Uh, this is basically just information, and we can go over it with you guys later, but right here it says press F1 to continue. It says CMOS checksum error, defaults loaded. So that just means that prior to this, the board um, had a CMOS reset or something like that, so it wants you to make sure that all the settings are correct before it proceeds. So if you want to proceed, hit F1 and go to delete to enter the setup, which we're going to do right here. So I hit delete, and then it's going to go into the BIOS. All right, so as you guys just saw, it correctly recognized their CPU, the Xeon E5620. And here we are in the BIOS, or the basic input-output <coughs> system. And here's basically the master control setup for the motherboard. And this includes everything from overclocking to um, checking the disk drives to maybe managing the keyboards and all that good stuff. Yep, all right, so we're not going to go over this um, in detail right now, but this is just something that you want to make sure your computer can get into, and then we're going to show you guys um, some settings as we use them while we set up the computer. All right, guys, so it looks like we had a successful boot up the first time. Our next video is going to be us configuring the computer and, of course, adding on those necessary hard drive and disk drives and eventually putting, in, putting it into the case. So that's it for now. I'm really happy that we uh, got it to boot up on the first try. Looks like it should be smooth sailing from here. All right, see you guys.